In this video, we are going to see how to export vector graphics into Inkscape from a chart making program. This could be Qt Plot, GraphPad, SPSS, PSPP, SAS. Most chart making programs or point and click statistical packages give you the possibility to save or export graphs as a vector format. Let's use Qt Plot for this example. First, we'll plot the graph and export as a PDF. Have all of those. If we go to File, Export Graph, Current Graph, we then could export it as a PDF, change the name, so I've just chosen a simple name there, Growth, uh, sorry graph bacteria growth and we change the type of plot from BMP to EMF or to PDF remember our videos about the different kind of files that can be used we choose here preferably a vector file and PDF is one of them or EMF so here we choose PDF and then uh, we save it uh, to our destination of preference and so we've exported the graph onto the desktop and so what we just do now is to hold the control key down of our computer grab the graph pull it onto Inkscape and when we pull that onto Inkscape we go here leave all the import settings at default we select OK and close this now we have our graph into Inkscape so we can have a look at it let's increase the size of the page a little bit and here we have our graph and you see it looks pretty slick compared to what we had from uh, microsoft excel or from uh, some of its plotting stuff so after importing into inkscape we can now select the graph and go to object on group on group a couple of times to ungroup the different elements on the line the graph and after we've done that we are now able to move the individual parts for instance if we didn't like this heading here we could just go and hit delete and we could customize the the text if we wish and uh, we could also change the colors if we wish so that is it about importing a pdf from a dedicated chat making program into Inkscape so thank you for watching our video please leave your comments down below and criticize or critique the video and tell us what we could do better so we could make better videos also like or hate our video in the next video we are going to see how we could do the same thing using a programming language in this case we will use the R programming language to export vector graphics for use in Inkscape. See you in the next video.